Okay. What's happening here is that we're finally um, got the uh, Kobe and the Honeycomb version 9 um, ROM to mix and work on the Kobe. Um, what you're seeing here is actually a ROM running Honeycomb on the Kobe. Um, uh, made some adjustments. Okay, so the analog clock, uh, which is the alarm clock, is now the honeycomb clock. Um, a lot of, a lot of options here. Okay, the power control. Get out of here. I'm still running um OS 2.1, but. Um, Running a different version of it. Okay. Um, all right. So what you're seeing here is a better way of running the um, the dock instead of running. A lot of people use Launch Pro and a couple of others that are popular. But on the Kobe, since the Kobe, when it comes to memory. It, you know, kind of acts up, so it's best just to run it clean and lean. And everything you see here, all these dialog, everything is running. Uh, I designed the uh, dialog boxes to use less RAM. I still got some kinks to work out, but still, yeah. So if you want to run uh, Cafe Mark, we'll get an idea of what we're dealing with. Okay, score is 825. All right, still got to run some more tweaks in there to bring that up higher. But still, that's not bad because I usually get eight fourteen. All right, let's get out of there. Okay. All right, now. We got a lot of wallpaper here. Um, pretty much, what I've done is I duplicated the wallpaper that I put in the other packages onto the Kobe here. So you can have um, uh, you have the nine well except for I took two of them out um, pretty much you have um, what you see in, in the Motorola Zoom you can see now in the Kobe Here's the city. Okay. And a copy of wallpaper has a different um, dimension and sizing. It's completely different. So we, we see that certain wallpaper doesn't. Um, let's see, this is the, um, the hexagon. Oh, that looks right on the Kobe here. So you get the eye there. Change the um, trash can so you have a, a new Martin look, so you can see it right there. If you, I guess I have to move my hand. Let's see, okay, right there. Change everything here. Still working on the uh, taskbar here. As you can see, the clock is since the clock is black and the numbering, you can't see it. But yeah, well, I don't know. Maybe a trade-off there. We also have uh, another feature called side. Let's see, it's, uh, sidebar. So here you have all all access to all the applications that are available. 
on your tab tablet. So everything is here, and you can launch applications. You can do pretty much anything you want here. Um, okay. Holy cows! A whole bunch of okay. See if this works. faster on this wow <laughs> okay here we go all right that's just like a little demonstration there okay we also have You can change colors too. You can actually save your work on that. It's a, a good little drawing program. You can actually, you know, jot down things and save them. Uh, these are the kind of applications I find. I'm kind of added to a power list. Right now we have power, I think it's 310. That hasn't been released yet. There's a power 282 out, but right now we're just adding as we go. Couple of games here. These games are pretty much for the other Android OS, but they'll work on here. Here, so you can actually send, um, you can actually call somebody's house through a wireless network, wireless network, and actually call. Well, well since this doesn't have a mic, you couldn't talk to them, but you can send a text. But you can call their house and the phone number. Right? It's pretty neat. This is called um, text. It's also called text free, but it's also called here share text. Um, And there's tweaks, um, more tweaks about what I'm doing here. Uh, will be coming out. Right now, this won't be released yet until I get everything worked out on here. Um, so it's going to take some while because when it boots up, it kind of something crashes. I don't know. Okay, here we go. But we're getting there. Okay. And that's about it. There's really not much to show. I mean... Get the calendar. I was wondering I was wondering if I should change this to a gold speaker, but I don't know. Right now it's kinda weird. Certain certain things I mean what's available right now to change everything, it's kinda odd. But anyway, here you got the I changed the dialog boxes. This way here with the transparency it uses less RAM instead of having it fancy. But you get the kind of drift here. This is pretty much what I was going for. The goal is to save as much RAM as I could and and to recover. Uh in the background, we're using um, Android Assistant, which is actually good here. Here it says 52 is free. This is automatically set up to automatically free up RAM every 10 minutes. So we're going to force it to free up more. So it freed up to 70. 
but you see here the total RAM here is 154.12 so you're not really getting the 256 where other tablets say 256 then they have about 232 free so 102 is missing on the side but I think it has to boil down to the uh, graphics and uh, the HDMI but over here over here I have a Craig <laughs> so, on that one, it, you you get a little bit of more RAM free. Instead of here, with it, you're stuck under 100. That one, you get about 112. Same configuration on that one. Processor is just different. Um, and it's only 720p, while this is 1080p. This has a better screen, though, in my opinion. But and this is all metal. And well, anyway, this is pretty much here. Um, here are the processors here. See how um, Google Voice is taking up CPU and taking up RAM. My goal is to see if we can, you know, stop this from loading. The calendar, we can always stop that by using another program. The clock, well, it's going to, you know, if you want the fancy um, honeycomb clock on display, there's a problem here. But this is the problem with um, this, by loading um, the voice. Really don't need to do so. Okay, and then you got startup manager where you can actually on this device here you can disable some stuff. Let me go in here system. I'll disable some stuff here. It's already set. If you go into save battery, by default the GPS comes on. I see it's on. Yeah, let's see it's on again. Mm. It should take you to another screen, and then you can turn off the other two features with the GPS. Auto sync, you're gonna need that. Well, it depends. If you don't turn it on, then nothing's gonna sync. Orientation, yeah, you need that if you want to rotate. This feature you don't need. Okay, turn this down. This is the brightness. Put it around there. Out time, I mean, you can set that to um, 10 minutes or you can set that to 5 minutes. So by default, this is set to 10. I'm going to set it to 5. Alright. Let's get out of that. Android Optimizer is another tool. I was always using that. But this program tends to crash a lot. So it's kind of weird. So we're going to run speed up. And speed up will show us what's um, uh, anything anything loading up in memory. Okay. So there's nothing auto, nothing running in auto stop. Now this is false positive because what's happening is if you run the new update, you'll see what's loading in memory. So technically this stuff loading. There's uh, the battery. There's actually more battery features. This is a good program if the author can fix it so you don't have all these crashing. Alright, so this is telling us the battery is settings is 6 there's nothing in the cache not, not, it hasn't found any pests or anything oh yeah by the way um this version we tweaked to the max so so memory wise is I mean cache wise is set to the max and also the, the pest control is under control so when you go to the browser you won't have you know ads and spyware and malware and all that stuff but you gotta use the default browser though it won't work the other way so you can see the dialog boxes that look really cool and sharp here, which is really good. So, anyway, I have to run, sh cut this um, down. We're running out of time here. All right. Next time we'll um, see it actually working properly. <laughs> okay, that's it.